<coughs> please listen carefully and you know see carefully where this point is located because this every day we use this point every now and then for most of the patients we use this point as a large intestine 11 point wipe it the entire area wipe it the entire area wherever you want it to apply so for example you want it to apply the li11 we just apply like this only that much and then we apply is not so good and we should uh, thoroughly we just uh, no clean it that particular area now we try to find out where this particularly anatomical location is located first you remember my name what is my name okay sami hmm? semi you remember this is the semi flex always semi flex your elbow and then find out the elbow crease so there are the two elbow crease one is is the lateral elbow crease the other one is is the medial elbow crease but we are talking about the lateral towards the thumb side towards the thumb side we are seeing that now we once we semi flex the elbow this elbow creases happen here then exactly not on the elbow crease the, the acupuncture point is located not on the elbow crease but midway between the there are the two theories are they two explanation i'll give you one is is the midway between the lateral end of the cubital crease and lateral epicondyle of the humerus now where is the lateral epicondyle of the humerus this is the humerus you come down you can find the lateral that means is the outside epicondyle of the humerus so lateral epicondyle of the humerus this is the lateral end of the cubital crease midway between these two the point is located that point to be known as a chuchi right so now the name itself is chuchi now i need to insert the chuchi right suchi insertion to be taken please so we insert the 1.5 chun needle or 2 chun needle I think this is the one chun, get me the other needle Just inserting the needle on Li11. Just inserting the needle on the Li11, right? Now further, they should go deep. Slightly, you just insert the needle. This has gone to the 2.5 chun needle depth towards the Shao Hai. Towards the Shao Hai. That is the H3. Li11 should be applied towards the H3 because H3 location also I'll show you that please come down come this side and then yeah you can sit here yeah please be seated now you can see this is the medial end of the cubital crease then the medial epicondyle of the homerus this is the lateral epicondyle of the humerus this is the medial epicondyle of the humerus i wanted to insert the needle bilaterally just towards the li11 this point to be applied so this is the medial epicondyle of the humerus and then medial elbow crease so this needle to be applied towards the chuchi li11 li11 to be applied towards the exactly both the points are communicating point each other to be known as a li11 and then h3 both the points are recommended to treat for the tennis elbow and then golfer's elbow as well right not only that much more that these points to be activated i just inserting the needle to the further slightly the patient shouldn't feel much pain but however we applied this one point the second point to be applied in the same direction 
so therefore l11 please be seated so anyone is having the doubt please see all of you whenever you are sitting whenever i show you precisely you just open your sleeves and then you just see fold your sleeves and then see that where the point is located not the h3 better when i'll teach h3 i'll show you but try to understand where is the large intestine 11 fold semi fold very good amazing so this is l11 but most of the acupuncturists does that they apply the li11 on the lateral end of the cubital crease is not totally good anatomically this point is not located right wonderful wonderful now we try to understand this is particularly this point is located midway between these two the another anatomical location to be known as a there is the midway between the midway between the chisa and then volacranon process of the ulna the chisa lu5 where is lu5 point is located that point is located on the that point is located on the on the lateral border of the bicep tendon lateral border of the bicep tendon that point is located now you from the chisa and then volacranon process of the ulna this is the volacranon you touch and feel this called as the volacranon process of the ulna from here to here midway between these two the point is more or less is coming over here itself but for the misconception and the people use only the lateral end of the cubital crease that doesn't match that particular point so therefore when you wanted to know precisely location you have the big dream the patient will be all right then we are inserting the needle in the wrong direction and the patient doesn't feel some kind of the relief but that's the reason better try to analyze and apply the appropriate location that always is good the li11 yes li11 point is li11 point is the mother point of the large intestine and then mother point indicating the energy goes to the large intestine and also this point to be known as a earth point the large intestine 11 belongs to the earth point already if anyone is not writing or they don't know already in my art of classical acupuncture book already i have written all the great exp explanation about the all the command points very elaborately i have written if anyone don't have the book and please try to collect it so li11 is the mother point that receives the energy that receives the energy to the colon from the stomach because this belongs to the this belongs to the earth point earth organs known as a stomach yes or no so then stomach energy it receives then passing to the colon then li11 is equivalent to the st45 li dui li dui is the sun point li11 is the mother point both are combined together if you wanted to use you can use it this point when you are using this particular point you are pushing the energy to the colon you are elevating the energy to the colon you are making the lubrication to the colon it have the chances to get the evacuation precisely this works for the both the conditions this point to be treatable for the colon related disorders like a constipation and also treatable for the diarrhea or dysentery as well there is a one one particular point the same point to be treatable for the constipation same point to be treatable for the diarrhea as well so at the same time this point is located on the elbow right elbow so then this point is very good to treat for the elbow as well elbow arthritis or tennis elbow conditions also recommended when we wanted to use this point as a homeostatic point immune enhancing point tonification point and then this is the pepsi coca cola point or we called as a is the mint flower what we take as a juice as a mint whenever i go to a restaurant sometimes i offer to have the mint juice that's really sometimes feel presentable so that is the mint juice point or something like a cooling point in our body to be known as a li11 
that means is the cooling point to be taken place to the body system the person who is suffering for the hyperthermia or hyperpyrexia or the skin having the excessive heat body having the excessive heat the colon having the excessive heat the stomach having the excessive heat the brain having the excessive heat the body upper limbs and lower limbs having the excessive heat all the heat to be regulated <coughs> by activating the l11 acupuncture point so once it have the because this is as a this is as a draining point when the energy goes to the colon when the energy goes to the colon even the colon eliminated in the form of this tool the patient feel more relaxation that means the patient after the pyrexia the sweating to be taken place perspiration or the urination and also motion is this tool is passed precisely the patient always feel comfortable then he don't have any kind of the sign and symptom of the sign and symptom of the temperature most of the times so therefore this is the temperature protocol when the person is suffering for the fever conditions only as i told you is the cooling point to be taken place use the l11 at the same time is the wick one that is triple warmer 5 or sanjo 5 and then heku is the great eliminator the heat eliminator point is l4 together is the normal day to day clinical protocol how the pyrexia which we call as a parasitic mal astominophen works something like that it works without any medication you believe it or not most of the times for the children especially who have the temperature for them we just activate only this point to control the temperature without using the antibiotics without using the paracetamol suspensions that having the great how you apply you use that as a three times in a day paracetamol to be given every three hours four hours so on in the same way this acupuncture point also recommended to apply this 12 two times or three times in a day that certainly there is no medication is required when the patient is complaining around 102 degree temperature is there less than that of course is greater than 103 4 definitely required is emergency medication or emergency modern medicine is required but apart from that certainly drinking the water enough water and hydrating to the body and then keep the fasting to the stomach definitely there is a great relief at the same time you wanted to use any kind of the mild to moderate infection is there in the body system that particular time use the du14 ta chui point that always is good to bring down the fever very instantly patient feel more relaxation how there is the big temperature that means 1 or 2 degree so that time we just insert and definitely the patient feel more relaxation the another point when the when the fever comes because of the colon heat get excessiveness especially in the large colon or the small colon you know the vital get positive or the the the, the, the typhoid fever comes that also related to the colon it is starts from the colon as well so when you wanted to bleed to the colon by using the shausa and then kuan chung and then shang yang these are the three points uh, like li1 and uh, sanjo ton sanjo one and then si1 you just bleed that point and then patient instantly feel more relief to get the you know that heat definitely will come out from the meridians and also internal organs the patient gets the quick relief so therefore now you know the tonic point is li7 and then cooling point to be tonic as a noun as a li11 so therefore li11 is the heavenly star point at the same time this this li11 is the ghost point as well when the patient is having the dilemma about their confusion about the life and also they feel that there is the devil or evil is affected to them or the ghost is affected to them and they think that something is there is the bad events or the negative thoughts and negative intentions intellectuality is very poor and memory is very poor and they think always is something is affected to them in that condition also there are the 13 ghost points are there out of it there are the two ghost points i was completed one point to be known as a shao shang that is lu11 and the another point to be known as a chu chi li11 lu11 li11 both the points are the ghost points out of 13 right 
so now la11 is a great point to bring down the temperature at the same time for the shoulder brachial syndrome when the shoulder pain is there that particular time you can add up the three points will be wonderful point because this points to the ha c point where the deep energy converges to the deeper level of the ocean where the maximum energy to be taken place through the large intestine meridian by activating to that particular point the old age patients or the geriatric patients the palliative care patients to be treatable by using one specific point to be known as the li11 because it is a homeostatic point what does it mean is the homeostasis and allostasis homeostasis is the internal environment to be taken place by activating the cardiac rate heart rate and then respiration rate to be taken place inner temperature to be taken place precisely when the will power is required when the elevation of the chi is required when the elevation of the blood is required when the exuberance of the required where the asthenia is there in the large intestine meridian to become the sthenia to become the elevation of the chi and then blood to be taken place by activating the large intestine 11 precisely works the wonderful amazing results you can find at the same time another two points i wanted to tell you the xiao hai and then tian jing the xiao how high is the si8 and tian ching is the uh, triple warmer 10 these are the two points or ha c points of the elbow so those points also good point to treat for the elbow and then of course on the knee and the shoulder related disorders because the ha c points always is good point to treat for the numerous that internal organ related disorders where the chi abundantly goes to that particular organ precisely that will be really helpful to treat for the day to day clinical practice whenever we wanted to use the unknown etiology we don't know what could be the reason to cause this kind of the problem the person is suffering for the tuberculosis the person is suffering for the frankulosis or carbuncles or something is the scrofula something glandular swellings are there that particular time the lymphatic system or the lymph drainage system is not passing precisely even that particular time you wanted to add up this li11 precisely use it so you understand when we do for the camping and we do outside when we wanted to mass level treat the patients that particular time we could int to get the time to see the number of the patients that particular time is to be treatable as a certain points to be activated among them one point to be known as a li11 once you activate li11 so that point itself is taking care for your alimentary system your alimentary system is good of course the entire from the mouth to anus is good that will work from to the mouth to anus this particular point so therefore remember keep applying this particular point when the person is suffering for the day to day clinical practice we ask them to apply the pressure every day with reason without reason so just activate for the geriatric patients to activate this certainly there is the immune enhancing point to be taken place acupuncture works not only for the therapeutic level but of course for the preventive level also it works to treat for the known and unknown and also to the disease should in come to the body system in that way we can use as a preventive measures also taken place by activating this one particular point hopefully you understand about the li11 this is really amazing and beautiful point for the day to day clinical practice 